Rob in Cleveland, Ohio writes to me. He says, Paul, in a recent video, uh-oh, <laughs> see you guys are watching and now you're starting to ask questions about it. Uh, you mentioned that with very efficient speakers, you could use low-powered amps and be able to get plenty of sound from them. I is there any increased chance of clipping from using low-powered amps in certain passages of an album if you're going to be worried, you know, use a, a low-power amp? Well, yes and no. I know. People are like, can't you just answer the question? Yes and no. So let, let's take a look at the, what's actually being said here. If you match a power amplifier up to a speaker, let's say you have a very efficient pair of speakers. Their sensitivity rating is 95 dB, and that's really efficient. And you've got a 20 or 30 watt amplifier, a 50 watt amp, I don't know, 100 watt doesn't really matter how many watts are in the amplifier. Could be a thousand watts. The point is, for a given input signal, and almost all amplifiers are at about the same gain, so if I put one volt in, I'm going to get the same voltage out from most amplifiers. Amplifiers are generally 27 to 30 dB, probably leaning more towards 27 dB. But let's just use 30 because <laughs> the math is easy. Um, it, it, 30 is that magical point where you get a voltage gain of 30 equals a decibel gain of 30. So if I put one volt in, I get 30 volts out, right? And that's an easy one. If it's 27 dB, then I'd have to do the math on it. You can, you can look it up but it puts out l less voltage. But let's just use 30. So one volt in, 30 volts out, and into a four ohm load that is whatever it is in terms of wattage, okay? The actual amplifier wattage, whether it's a thousand watts or uh, 50 watts, you're gonna get the exact same amount out for a given input signal into a given load. So. You could start with something this big, but you're only going to get that much out. You could start with something this big, and you only get this much out, right? So, having said that, now we'll go to a 95 dB efficient speaker. We only want to have a certain number of watts to drive that thing. So what's going to happen? Well, regardless of the size amplifier that I have, as I start turning the volume up and that output goes from oh, I don't know, 200 millivolts to 300, you know, we're going to work our way up to one volt on the, you know, that speaker is going to get really loud because it doesn't need as many watts to drive it to a certain loudness level. So that level you will set because you don't want to blow your speaker out, right? You're not going to blast it. So you're going to turn it up to the certain level. Now, the question specifically was, all right, now an album comes along and I got a big transient. Well, that transient is not going to be a problem because if you've chosen an amplifier even of low wattage, you're still going to be within spec, likely, of making uh, uh, the whole speaker system work when you're turning the volume down to match the sensitivity of the speaker. So unless you're on the hairy edge, which is highly unlikely with a sensitive speaker, I think you're going to be fine and I would not worry about any kind of damage like that. All right. All generalized, so don't come running to me if you do, but in general you should be fine. Okay. Thanks. Bye.